Okay, here we go. I am just gonna get my crap together and get to posting on here. I've been wanting to do it forever and uh, might as well get started now. But I'm gonna start off with doing a nighttime routine. Um, I'm gonna try to fit as much as I can in here. But first I'm starting out in the girls' rooms. I sent Joe on a walk. Such a good dad. <laughs> He's so funny. Penelope's room is an absolute disaster. She gets in her closet every night and takes down all the little clothes, changes her clothes multiple times throughout the night. She gets in her dresser and takes out all the clothes and I'm just like fed up with it because it's, it's frustrating to have to deal with that. So what I'm gonna do is just try to figure out something else to where she won't do that anymore. And then I'm gonna clean her room, reset her bed um, and do the same in Goldie's room. So this is what her room looks like. And I literally cleaned this thing so many times, but the clothes are everywhere. She takes them out of her drawers and her bed is looking okay right now, but there's just stuff everywhere. And then her closet, she gets on top of here, which is so unsafe and gets these down. Clothes are always on the floor, hangers are always on the floor. So I'm just gonna fix that. We still have the little football handles on here from the previous owners, they had boys, so I need to take those off, but for now I'm gonna clean this disaster of a space. Okay, got her actual bedroom picked up and cleaned. I have to vacuum it and then I need to redo her bed. But for now, I'm going to get the closet figured out so I can get this mess figured out and yeah. Okay, I decided just to hang everything because I just don't wanna deal with folding. If you know me, you know how much I hate folding, but her room is finally picked up and organized. I just need to do her bed now. So as for her closet, I kind of did organize it in a way that like these are her uh, sweatshirts and then all of her like sweaters, all of her little looks by Lily sweaters, love those. And then I even did her pants. I can fit multiple on one hanger, so that's nice. And then sweatshirts, all of her kite pajamas, of course. And then here we have t-shirts. And then I did um, outfits. So that's like a kite jogger set, her overalls. This is the new Riptide in a sleeve of zipper. And then we've got dresses, bunch of dresses. And then of course, all of her rompers again, Little Looks by Lily. This one is like literally my favorite. And then we have a few little tutus back. But now I'm going to make her bed. I got in some new kite stuff for her bed. I love the kite baby bedding. Um, she used to have a duvet on here and I just, I don't know if I'm a fan, I can't tell, but I got a youth sheet and the new spring color Robin. Um, a lot of you guys don't know, but yeah, kite baby does make youth sheets, which they fit a twin and they fit a full. Um, and then I got her a crepe, which is my favorite pink. I love this color. This is a crepe youth blanket in 1.0 tog. So I'm just gonna put these two gems on her new bed. This blue is just literally gorgeous. I am obsessed with how pretty it is and I think it goes well with the theme of her room. Okay, up next is going to be her blanket. Like I said, this is a youth blanket. Um, this is in the color crepe. It is a 1.0 top, which is kind of just perfect for year round. We use 1.0 um, all year round. And you get the bumper. Just put her bumper under here. It has little grippies on the bottom that keeps it in place. Shove it right under here. Sounds like you could do that in the wall. 
it on the couch. I'm just cleaning your room because you messed it up. All right, this is her full new bed. We've got our baby blanket from Kite. This is the Stream Shark print, love it. And then all of her stuffies. We have an abundance of stuffies in this house. All right, here is the finished space. So we have her little bags right here. And then we have this free corner. I moved her bed over because I wanted her to have like a little cozy corner. So I'm gonna do something there. Then above here, I'm gonna make her a name flag with felt. This looks a little funky right here, but it's because I'm hiding the outlets so she can't get to them. And we're not using this, so it doesn't matter, but might need to put something here. But that is her finished room for right now, all clean, and I'm ready to clean it again tomorrow. Okay, all done with Penelope's room. Next up is Goldie's room. Goldie's room is just a mess in the sense that there's just a lot going on in here. I've not quite finished it and I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything else to it. I think I'm just going to leave it like this and possibly get a new rug, but mm, maybe not. But I just need to pick up a few things in here and redo her bed and then, no, I'm not going to redo her bed. I just redid her bed. I'm just going to pick it up. Goldie's room is all clean. Her room is very minimal. Doesn't have a ton of stuff. I do have her books up here because she loves books and a few toys. Her closet's clean. I don't need to worry about the dresser with her. We have her picture of Bubba in here. And then again, I'm gonna make her the little felt name sign that goes above her bed. All right, just finished up the girls' rooms. Joe, it's not focusing, is making dinner. He already made it. The girls already ate. Well, Goldie ate. They just had grilled cheeses and raspberries. And Joe and I are having some barbecue chicken with some rice. We're also eating, well, I am eating some queso and salsa with some chips. And since the girls already ate, they're just sitting here playing with their new food toy. Can I see? Let me see. Okay. Um, I got these little Melissa and Doug foods from Hobby Lobby today for like nine dollars. So Joe is giving the girls a bath, um, but while they were in there, he's actually fixing our sink because it broke and we've been dealing with this whole situation. I have a little golden builder here. Joe just gave them a bath. He always does bath night. It always seems to shock people that he does that, but it's such a normal thing in our household. Like I. If he's home, I normally don't do bath night. But Penelope gets open Goldie's eyes, so it ended early because she's sad. And I don't know if you can hear Penelope, but she's sad too. But now we're gonna get dressed and ready for bed. You ready for nanas? All right, now I'm gonna pick out the girls' pajamas. Um, like most of you know, I'm a big Kite baby fan. Um, so we just have a pair of pajamas here. She's gonna, Goldie's gonna wear strawberries tonight. I like this one of my favorite prints. I just love fruit prints and it's just so cute. Penelope is gonna wear the Hunter Rainbows. I love this print so much. Okay, I just put Penelope down because she was just absolutely like unhinged. She yeah. has been for the past like two weeks and to be honest, I think it's been because I've been a little bit lenient on food dyes lately just because I don't really know why. I don't know why, but Lately she's had some snacks that have red fruity in it and I think this is why she's been acting like this. So I put her down a little earlier in her room. She's watching her iPad having quiet time and then she will go to bed. Goldie is just chilling with me. And she will go to bed here in like 20 minutes and then it's time to clean the house. Usually every night I eat a second dinner. It's mostly like my first dinner because I don't really get to sit down and eat. I just ate some rice earlier and now I'm eating a salad, some mushrooms and chicken. And that is how I'm ending my night. Joe just vacuumed and then he's probably going to clean the kitchen and going to run. And yeah, that is our extended version of our nighttime routine. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm gonna definitely be doing more videos on here. 
and I am so excited to just show you guys a little bit more, a little more bits and pieces of my life. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.